Hey, remember how I said we were going to fix my bed in a future episode? Well, welcome to the future because we're going to tackle the bed today. I haven't slept in weeks, but these tired feet can't rest tonight. Traveling by the moon, I'm gonna get there soon, not gonna close my eyes. When I started my build, I knew I wanted to look for a Murphy bed because I knew that I wanted shelving that I could display stuff on and it seemed like a good use of space to have a bed behind it. And I figured out that I could just really not afford to buy a pre-made Murphy bed because number one, they're really expensive. Number two, I knew I was gonna have to modify the bed quite a bit because most beds are 75 inches long and this bus is only 72 inches at the floor level. I ended up buying plans from this company called Lori Wall Beds. And what appealed to me about their plan was that the bed was really cute for one thing. It had the shelves I was looking for, but also it was super simple, like no complicated mechanism and all that. And I have had a string of 20 plus year old vehicles because basically they're rubber band cars. If something goes wrong, you just have to figure out which rubber band broke and replace the rubber band. Not like these modern cars with computers and all that stuff. There's just too much to think about. So I kind of thought this was a rubber band bed. Yeah, it hasn't really worked out that way. I found a guy on Craigslist who did van conversions and he agreed to build the bed for me. The problem is he lived way up in the northern part of the valley. So I was going to go up there and he was going to measure the space and then build the bed. But there was so much going on at that point. You know, I was liquidating my store. I had just started the build and we just agreed that it would be easier if I sent him the measurements and he just built the bed and I came and picked it up. And I told him that I wanted him to reduce the length of the bed to 66 inches, which is fine for a 60 inch long person. But when I got there, he had made it 68 inches. He said that he gave me two extra inches by figuring out this way where when you're lowering it, if you shove it back in, you get two more inches. He demonstrated it on the sidewalk in front of his house though. Once I tried to use it inside the bus, I discovered that it was a whole other thing. But of course I didn't find any of that out until I'd gone all the way back to LA. The platform is not attached to the frame that rests against the wall. So if you're standing at the end of the bed and lowering it down, everything works great. But if you're trying to do it from the side, it's nearly impossible. I've tried a couple of things. You don't have to push it back in two inches anymore because I installed these great big springs, two of them, one on each side. And as I'm lowering the bed, the springs pull the platform right back into where it's supposed to be. So problem solved, right? <laughs> Except that's not the only problem. I put this rope in, which is helpful for lowering the bed to the ground because this thing is heavy. And when you're lowering it down, it can get away from you really quick. So the springs pull it into place and then I drop it down using the rope and okay, it's not easy, but I can do it. Now, sleep, 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 dream, 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 snore, snore, snore. Now it's morning. I gotta put the bed away. So I have to lift it and then I have to crawl underneath and push it up from the center. I can get it up, but it is breaking my back. My rotator cuffs are screaming at me. So I gotta solve this problem. The object of the game is to get the bed to come straight down into position without having to be pushed back two inches. Once we accomplish that, we can move on to attach the platform to the frame. And I'm gonna do that with seat swivels. The seat swivels will allow it hopefully to pivot down and pivot up with ease since it'll be attached evenly on both ends and because the pieces are designed to swivel, that should take all the stress out of it and it should work, right? I'm going to cut an inch off the top here. Okay, just cut straight across. I have to take these shelves off to do it. And hey, now that I think about it, that might be the only thing we have to do because if I take this shelf off, well, not the only thing, I might not even have to cut it is what I'm saying because I think it's actually the legs here, the, the shelf part that's hitting the door frame. I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna unscrew this shelf. I'm gonna see if I can lower it straight down without pushing it back two inches. If this doesn't work, I gotta find a whole new way to sleep because I can't do this anymore. My back is breaking. I'm too old for this. I almost said I'm too old for this shit. But the thing is, I can't say words like that because YouTube makes me bleep them and then it just sounds weird. It sounds like I said something much worse than I actually said because, I mean, is a fairly common word in our vocabulary at this point. People say all the time. Okay, now it's time to unscrew the shelf. 
I really hope this works because I just figured out that there's no way to get the bed platform off the bus. So if I do have to cut it, I'm going to have to cut it on the bus. See, there was no other furniture in here when we put it in, so... Hopefully this works. That we are bound to uncover If we just give it the time All my plans are in you You're my gold mine And no. Okay, that was a fail. I'm not loving the options, but they're the options we have. Either I can go with my original plan, which was to cut one inch off the top here. See, if I cut one inch from there and one and a half inch from the side of each shelf, that will allow me to inset the platform so that it's inside the frame, so that it has plenty of clearance when it comes down. But the downside is that I have to do all that cutting. The other option is that I could cut two inches off the top not cut anything off down here and just leave this the way it is. But if I do that, then see up here, there's a one inch railing behind here. So if I cut two inches, you're going to have one inch gap. I don't like either one of those options. <sighs> the third option is dump this thing. I don't give up that easy though. I was prepared to cut an inch off and that's what I'm going to do. I hate this bed. I sure hope I love it when I'm done. Well, because of the tight space, I'm going to have to use my hacksaw to get things started. I'll make a notch that the jigsaw can then fit into, because right now there isn't even room to fit the jigsaw in over there, so... I get to use my hacksaw! Woo! Hacksaw! Admit it, you've probably never heard anybody talk about a hacksaw the way I do. I mean, me and this hacksaw... Mwah. I love you, Hacksaw. Mwah. Where do I come up with this shit? Oh, I said it again. All my plans are in you. You're my in this bed's future. Well, a lot has transpired since I last saw you, or you last saw me. It's only been like 30 seconds in video time, but out there, night has fallen. I didn't want to put you through all of that, so I'm just gonna give you the broad strokes. First, we cut the ends off the shelves, and then I say we. <laughs> I'm saying we, but what I mean is me and my hacksaw, so yeah. We cut the ends off the shelves, and I was able to put the shelves back on the platform, and then I was able to inset it into the frame, which is what I wanted to do all along. Great, right? Now it's going to swing down, and no. Needs to go in a little bit further, and this is where I hit a snag. When I inset the platform into the frame, it became clear that the railing that goes along the bottom, the piece of wood that keeps the mattress from sliding off the platform, that was going to need to have kind of a notch cut in it because, see, there's this hump inside there. The hump is what protects the fuel fill. Like on the outside of the bus, there's the fuel fill. On the inside, there's this hump that protects it. The railing was hitting against that. Well, okay. That's doable, except that the end piece has been glued on and screwed on and there's wood putty in the screw. So I can't even get the screwdriver in there and I work at it and I work at it. And then I decide to just jump up and down on it until it breaks off. Now that sounds like that's gonna be the disaster, but no, it breaks off, everything's fine. Except now there's no railing on the bottom to keep the mattress in. But it doesn't really matter because what I've figured out is that now I've pushed this bed so far into the frame that 
there's not even room for a mattress anymore. So I sat back. I took a breath. And I gave up. I have a hard time giving up. In fact, sometimes, even past the point where I should give up, I will keep on going, just trying to make it work. That's what I did with my store. That's what I do sometimes with these videos. And you know, it's easier to fail quietly on your own than it is to fail publicly on YouTube. So, yeah, I guess I have a hard time giving up. I mean, I'm good at giving up on things before I actually start them. I'm great at that, but Sometimes the smartest thing you can do is give up. And I think this is one of those times. So, I give up. No more Murphy bed for me. I think I can fit a longer bed if it folds out rather than swinging down. Because I think the swinging down thing is what was causing it to need so much space. And I think I would probably know that if I had not failed geometry in high school. Who am I kidding? I didn't fail geometry. I never even got to geometry. I failed algebra. Don't get me wrong. I'm not proud of it. I'm just saying. Geometry is the one that helps you to know like angles, right? I got a air mattress in the meantime. And I got some thinking to do. So now this seems like a big anticlimax, doesn't it? At the end of all this, I didn't even get a Murphy bit out of it. But you've actually just learned the most important lesson of converting a vehicle to a living space. A plan is just that, a plan. You don't know how it's going to work out in real life. Just because you make the greatest floor plan in the world doesn't mean it's going to work out right. Just because you spend a bunch of money putting up some walls doesn't mean they're in the right place. And just because you have a cool looking Murphy bed doesn't mean that's what you're supposed to sleep on. Trial and error. That's kind of the name of the game, unfortunately. You figure out what works for you, you figure out what doesn't. And Gee, it only took me what? almost a year to figure out that this didn't work for me. So I think the moral of this story is try not to be too attached to how you think things are supposed to be. And also maybe don't have a stranger in Ventura County who's never seen the bus build a bed for you. Maybe that too. Just a thought. As hard as it is to say when you're miles away I still need you I'm gonna start a fire Just to be reminded of the one we need So we've come to the end of our time for tonight and I want to thank you for helping me tear apart my bed and also I want to thank you if you checked out my live video some of you might not even know it exists but I did a live this week and it was crazy there were only a few people that were actually there, but a lot of people have checked it out after the fact, and I want to thank you if you're one of those people. I had fun. I mean, it was kind of like jumping off a cliff, but I had, well, I think it was actually more like skydiving, because I really did have fun, and I think I would have more fun if you were there. So come next time. In fact, what I'm thinking is I'm going to release these episodes on Saturdays, and then I'm going to go live on Thursdays, Thursday nights. I think even if you're a subscriber, you might have to hit the little bell, but if you're not a subscriber, you definitely won't find out, so... Please join me next time when I will talk some more, and probably tear something else up. You know how they say the best laid plans of mice and men? What's that line? The best laid plans of mice and... I don't know. Something about mice and men. I just know John Steinbeck made a play out of it, right? Why am I asking you? You don't know plays. Maybe you do know plays. I don't know. You're my goal, my